So hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, back here with another Trading212 portfolio update. This is episode 36. If you're new to the channel, I'll tell you how you can get three free stocks later in the video. And don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and help this channel get to 1k subs. Today we'll be going through the overall portfolio performance over the last seven days and talking about telecoms and house builders. If you haven't seen last week's update, the link is in the description. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, the portfolio is now at £6,755.65p. I've invested £6,883.69p. So I'm down £127.53p, that's 1.87%. So if we look at the start of the week, I was only down 53 pounds and now I'm down 128. So the market has gone down a little bit over the last seven days. So moving on to the stock. So today I want to go through telecom stocks and house builders. So we'll start off with AT&T. AT&T, where is it here? So I've got... 1.2 shares in AT&T. So my returns at the moment is negative £1.43p. That's down about 4.71%, uh, which isn't ideal. However, if we look at the last week, we are actually up 3.44%, which is positive. So um, pretty happy with that this week. So it is going in the right direction, which is positive. With AT&T, they are actually expected to go ex-dividend on the 9th of July and they are expected to pay 52 cents per share on 3rd of August, which isn't too bad. I only have 1.2 shares. Am I planning to increase my start investment in this? No, I don't think I am at the moment, to be honest. I'm going to leave it the way it is, and um, we'll see how that goes. For now, I don't plan on increasing my investments in AT&T at the moment. I do uh, want to focus on other sectors, which we'll go into later on. The next stock I want to talk about is BT. So looking at this in the last week, it has actually gone down 3.97%. Uh, the current share price is at £1.11p. They have suspended their dividend for about two years, I believe. So I won't be expecting any dividend payments for, from this. So I hold 330 shares. I'm down £75.59. I'm down about 17.09%. My average price is at £1.34. And the sell price is around £1.11 now. So I am actually down quite a bit with BT. But initially, I did say BT is going to be a, a long play for me. And... I am planning to hold it for a few years. So with BT, it's a little bit of a, a mixed bag, to be honest. Personally, I'm planning to hold BT for about four, three to four years, maybe five. So it is kind of a, like a semi-long play, um, semi-long term stock for me. In terms of dividends, it being suspended for two years, I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. Um, I can I can I can hold off for that right now, so I'm not too bothered about it. Yes, it's a bit of a downer, but if it's gonna let them reinvest and focus on the business to improve it in the long run, yeah, that's fine by me. I'm not really too bothered about that. Initially, this was a dividend stock for me, but now there's no dividend. Um, I'm hoping I'd see some growth in this um, over the next two years. In terms of Huawei and their 5G. I do believe um, BT did purchase some Huawei 5G equipment. Uh, don't hold me to that, but I think I did recall reading some articles about that. Um, in terms of that, I do think that's going to definitely uh, have a quite big impact on BT if they did buy it. Equipment's not cheap, is it? So, but yeah, if I if I was a new investor, I probably wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't buy BT right now. That's just my personal opinion. I'd love to hear your comments. Leave a comment down below. Would you buy BT? Moving on to Telefonica. That's the other telecoms company I have. So where is Telefonica? Telefonica, here we go. So with Telefonica, it is actually um, doing pretty badly. Um, 
I say badly, it's not doing well. I'm over exaggerating here. So with Telefonica, um, the current price, share price is around four euros and 16 cents. It is down, if we look on the week, it is actually down 0.88%. That's about 3.7 cents. I've got 22 shares. A return at the moment is I'm down at 34 pounds and 15 P. That's 29.34 percent. It's quite a big drop, to be honest. My average price is at six euros and 18 cents. So I did actually start buying these around October and they did see a drop around when they say a drop they did see a drop around 11th of february um and they dropped to around three to four euros which isn't ideal for me i probably should have started looking at averaging down but you know what i'm just going to hold this and um see where it goes because there is also another issue with huawei and fi the 5g equipment if they did purchase any, that's definitely going to cause them an issue. And if the Spanish government does ban that, ban that equipment, that is definitely going to have a negative effect on them, similar to BT. They are actually, I am actually expecting to receive a dividend from these guys. I'm expecting to receive 19 euro cents from them, um, which is... It's not bad, it's still something, so that should be about two or three euros from from these guys. So it is something which is still good. I'd love to hear what you guys think about Telefonica. Would you invest in Telefonica? I if I was a new investor or if I was looking in to get into Telefonica right now, I probably wouldn't buy Telefonica or any sort of telecoms, to be honest. Um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Inkmatic. I know I'm I'm starting to push Twitter a bit more. I do want to see some engagement in that. Uh, it'd be good if you guys can follow me on that. That'd be really helpful. So moving on to house builders, we'll be talking about Barrett, Persimmon and red row so let's start off with barrett first where's barrett um so barrett has around so barrett has seen a slight drop this week around 2.3 percent that's around 11.8 p um so um it has been doing all right during this pandemic i've got 22 shares a return at the moment i'm up two pounds and 38 p that's 2.25 percent my average price is around four pounds and 79 p and point so let's just say it's four pound 80 to be honest so um i'm pretty happy with this um pre-pandemic it did hit around eight pound 30 which is really good um so it has come down a lot since then but i do think it's a really healthy stock and they should be doing all right um, in terms of um, at the outlook, I do think I do think um, Barrett should do well. However, the housing market I do think is going to see another uh, what well, some sort of drop, and it will take another like four to six months for it to recover. So in that time, I do think um, it's going to be a little turbulent for most of the house builders, to be honest, um, because prices I do I do think prices will fall, to be honest. But that's just my opinion. I'd, I'd be keen to know what you guys think. Similar to the other stocks that I want to talk about in the house builder section, which is going to be Persimmon as well. So let's find Persimmon. 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 So with Persimmon, uh, current share price is around £22.55p. It is actually down 0.92% in the last week. That's 21p. I've got seven shares. Uh, that's up £6.68p. I'm up 4.43%, which is really good. Um, again, similar situation with Barrett. They are a house builder and I do expect... Um, I, I, I am expecting house prices to fall and demand to be quite low. That's what I'm expecting. Um, I'm, I might be wrong, but um, that's what I'm thinking. In terms of dividends as well, they uh, both Barrett's, 
Barrett's Persimmon and I think Red Row have uh, suspended their dividends for now. So I'd be interested to know how the uh, what they plan. Um, will they be uh, restarting the dividends in Q3? I'd be interested to know what they do with that. Moving on to Red Row now. Red Row um, has actually seen quite a sharp drop in the last week. It's about 7.98%, and that's 37p. So that is a pretty sharp drop, to be honest. I've got seven shares. I am down £6.6p. And 6p. That's 16.87p. My average price is at £5.13p. So... It is um, quite a bit down compared to the other stocks, the other house builders that I have. Um, in terms of house builders, I do believe that the house market, housing market is going to go down. And the fact that I think, I also think demand is going to go down as well. Um, mainly because um, people are, I, I, I tend to be risk adverse when they, when there is a, um, a significant I guess, event that happens in the economy. So um, I do think before the housing market will pick up, it would be at least like another three to four months before we see any signs of improvement. Um, in terms of dividends for these stocks, I am not expecting um, dividends to resume, but it would be interesting to see how these three companies um, approach dividends for q3 or even in q4 um will they be re will, will they be restarting dividends um what do you guys think um i'll be interested to know leave a comment down below don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter at inkmatic and don't forget to check out the website we do have a recent post on lifetime ices link is also in the description so yeah that's it for this video um i did promise you guys that i will tell you how you can get three free stocks the first one is if you sign up to trading 212 you get a free share worth up to 100 pounds free trade you'll get a free share worth up to 200 pounds and if you sign up to stake and deposit 50 pounds you'll get a free share in either nike gopro or dropbox i believe so yeah that's it don't forget to follow us on instagram and twitter at inkmatic and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and help this channel get to 1k subscribers uh, so yeah that's it see you in the next update